Welcome. This video is a vinyasa yoga class. So this is a really great practice to do to start your day, to just get things moving, get things flowing, to uh, come back to some really important alignment concepts and to really just energize your day. So it's an all levels class. Uh, I would definitely suggest that you have a little bit of knowledge of yoga before coming into this class, before fully practicing this class. You might even check out the slow flow class before you do this one. Uh, if you have any questions though, you can always contact us. And if you need to, just pause the video. You can pause the video, look at my alignment, and then make sure that you're doing something that is, if not the same, but similar. Find a comfortable seat and then just go ahead and close your eyes, please. Take a big giant breath all the way in through your nose. Exhale your breath away. Open your eyes and as you breathe in, sweep your arms up high overhead and then interlace your fingers behind you. Make sure you breathe out as you drive your knuckles down towards the ground and reach the crown of your head up towards the sky. Sweep your arms back up, and then again like that, just switch the interlacing of your fingers. Knuckles down as the crown of the head drives up. See the front of your space, and meet me on hands and knees. So we'll meet up with the wrists under the shoulders, the knees under the hips. As you breathe in, drop your chest, roll your shoulders back, inhale, peek up, cow pose. Breathe out, round through your spine for cat. Inhale, chest lowers, sitting bones lift, your gaze will lift for cow. Exhale, round through your spine for cat. Find a neutral spine so you're not in a cat or a cow. And from here, kick your right leg back behind you. Take your knee to your nose, round through your spine. Kick the leg back, breathe in. Take your knee to the upper outer right arm and step your foot outside of your right hand so your foot's wide. Walk your hands forward. That way that left hip moves in front of your left knee. One breath in. Stay to exhale, bring your hands back, and then just come back to hands and knees, so you might have to readjust yourself on your mat here. And then breathe in, kick your left foot back. Exhale, knee to nose, round through your spine. Breathe in, extend your leg back. Take your knee to the upper outer left arm and step your foot outside of your left hand. Encourage your hips forward, relax your jaw. Draw your shoulder blades together. Plant your palms, come back to hands and knees. Child's pose, take your knees wide and your seat to your heels. Peek forward, plank pose, one breath in. Tip your hips up, downward facing dog as you breathe out. On your in breath, reach your right leg up. Bend your right knee and open your hip. Try to kick whatever's over to the left side of you and you might circle your knee in one direction and then circle in the opposite. Re-extend your legs, square your hips, step your foot forward. Come on out to a long spine. So now your foot's inside of your hands. The crown of your head's driving forward as your back heel drives back. Stay for a breath in. Downward dog as you breathe out. Plank pose on an in-breath. Lower your knees first and then lower everything else to the ground. On top your toes. Roll your shoulders back. From the strength of your upper back, lift your chest for a low cobra. And then tip back, downward facing dog. From down dog, lift your left leg up. Bend your knee, open the hip. And then once more, you might circle your knee in one direction. Switch it up, circle in the opposite. Re-extend your legs, square your hips, step your foot forward. Just like before, long spine, peek forward. And then press right back, downward facing dog. From here, come forward, plank. Lower all the way to the ground. If you need to, on your way to the ground, if you just felt like you collapsed to the mat, uh, lower your knees first, please. And then roll your shoulders back, lift your chest, low cobra. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. So come to plank pose one more time. If you need to look at me, please do. Lower halfway for chaturanga. If this is newer to you, check this out first. So I'm not lowering past this place. 
and then it's up dog. In up dog, the knees are off the ground, the chest is driving forward, the shoulder blades are moving together. Tip back, downward facing dog. Super slowly walk your feet up to your hands, and we'll meet in a forward fold at the very top of the mat here. You maybe might shake your head yes and no. Tuck your chin into your chest, roll up to stand. Your head will be the last thing to lift. On a big breath in, sweep both arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale your right foot back, low lunge. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Plank pose, breathe in. Lower all the way to your belly or lower halfway chaturanga. Up dog or cobra pose on your inhale. Tuck your toes, exhale back, downward facing dog. Breathe in, reach your right leg high. Exhale your right foot forward next to your right thumb. On an in breath, reach your right arm up, twist right. Lower your hands, step forward, exhale into your legs. Inhale your arms up as you rise. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, step your left foot back, low lunge. Breathe out, downward facing dog. Plank pose, inhale forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dogs, your in breath. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Breathe in, sweep your left leg up. Breathe out, step your left foot forward. Inhale your left arm up. Lower your hand, step forward. Exhale into your legs. Sweep your arms high as you breathe. Empty out back into yourself. Draw your right foot back on your in breath. Downward facing with your out breath. Plank pose, breathe in. Chaturanga, breathe out. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Reach your right leg high, breathe in. Breathe out, step your right foot forward. Inhale your right arm up, twist open. Lower your hand, step forward and exhale. Sweep your arms high as you breathe. Breathe out, forward fold. Inhale your left foot back, low lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Plank pose, inhale forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facings, your in breath in. Downward facings, your out breath out. Sweep your left leg high as you breathe. Exhale it forward. Inhale your left arm up. Lower your hand, step forward into your legs. Reach your arms high on your in breath, rise. Breathe out, forward fold. Draw your right foot back, inhale. Down dog with your exhale. Plank pose, come forward. Lower, chaturanga. Breathing in, upward facing. Breathing out, downward facing dog. Bend your knees this time, look at your thumbs. You could step or you may take a little jump to the front of your space. Come out to a halfway lift, look away. Fold forward, reach your arms high as you rise. Tip back into yourself. Draw your left foot back, breathe in. Down dog with your breath out. Plank pose, inhale. Chaturanga Dandasana, exhale. Up dog, lift your heart. Down dog, lift your hips. Once again, bend your knees, look forward. You could step there or you could take that little jump to the front of your space. Halfway lift, look away. Fold back in. Reach your arms up as you breathe. Fold forward. Look at the back of your mat, plant your palms. You could step to a down dog or you may take a little hop there. And then full breath in, full breath out. Reach your right leg high. Step it forward for a warrior two. Turn your back heel down as your arms open up. Flip your palms, tip back reverse. And then straighten your legs for triangle pose. Reach over your straight right leg. Your right hand can find the shin, maybe your ankle, maybe the ground, whatever works for you. Breathe in. Draw the shoulder blades together as you breathe out. Bring your hands down to frame your front foot, press back, down dog. Stay right here or you can inhale forward to a plank pose. Lower chaturanga. Up dog, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out. Sweep your left leg high. Step your left foot forward, warrior two. Turn your back heel down as you rise up. Flip your palms, tip back, reverse. 
Straighten your leg for that triangle pose. So your left hip moves towards your right heel. Your hand can find the shin, maybe the ankle, maybe, maybe the ground, if that feels good for you. And then lower your hands, press back, downward facing dog. Stay for a full breath in. Full breath out. Bend your knees, look at your thumbs, step or hop your feet there. Halfway lift, gaze away. Fold in. Reach your arms up high. Root your right foot down. Bend your left knee up for tree pose. So your left foot will come to the inner upper right leg somewhere. Could be above the knee or below it. Prayer your hands or reach your arms up. Breathe in. Stay to breathe out. Relax your shoulders. From tree pose, bring your hands to your hips. Turn that left knee forward. Step back to a high lunge. So you might have to take a few steps to get that stance. You maybe might have to widen your stance a little bit. And then reach your arms up. Straighten both legs as you breathe. Prayer, your palms twist right. Hook your left elbow outside of your right thigh. Reach your head and your back heel away from one another on an in-breath. Turn the belly button and the chest towards the sky on your out breath. Look at your front foot, low lunge, step forward. Sweep your arms high as you breathe in. Exhale your hands to your hips and then your right foot will find the inner upper left thigh. Prayer your palms or lift the arms. Try to press your foot into your leg, your leg into your foot. Do your best to really spread through your standing toes. Turn your knee forward, step back into that high lunge. Take lots of steps if you need to, and then straighten the legs, inhale. Prayer your palms, exhale, twist left. Do your best to really reach the back heel away from the crown of your head. Remember you've got a back leg there. Low lunge, frame your front foot, and step forward, fold into your legs. Reach your arms high once more. Lift up high up onto the balls of your feet. Reach your arms forward and slowly lower down. Sit your hips back and then bring your hands underneath your thighs and take the feet off of the mat. You could stay like this or you might reach your arms forward. Maybe lengthen your legs for Navasana. Drive the heart towards the toes. One breath in. Shoulder blades together. Breathe out. One more inhale, exhale your feet down, bring your hands behind you, and then lift your hips up. Breathe in, stay to exhale. Lower your seat, draw the soles of your feet together, bring your heels really close to your hips here for Baddha Konasana. So uh, if my hands are like your feet, the pinky edges of the feet are pressing together, the big toe edges, the inner edges are opening up like you're opening up a little book. And that'll just help release the groins, the inner thighs in a, in a safer way as opposed to like jamming them down with your elbows. So sit tall and you could stay upright. Some of you might send the heart forward and walk your hands forward. Wherever you are, think about relaxing your jaw, your lips, your eyes. Slowly lift back up. And then from here, lower your feet to the ground. Come onto your back really, uh, really softly, really gently, because once you're on your back, you're just gonna scoot your hips to the right and your knees go left. Make sure that your shoulder tips are on the ground. So uh, you might have to bend your elbows back to get that to happen. And then bring your left hand on top of your right leg. Your right arm might reach out to the right, or you could just bend the elbow back. You may need to move your hips a little more to the right here, so that way the hips and the 
The spine really is in one straight line. Look up or look over your right shoulder. Whatever feels better for you. And then take your time. We're just switching sides. Come on back through center. Move your hips a little bit left. Move your knees off to the right. And then same thing. You could look up or you could look over your left shoulder. It feels really nice sometimes for that right hand to just ground the, to ground the legs down. From here, look right and just roll all the way to your right. Take your time, press yourself back up to sit and find a comfortable seat and just close your eyes. As you breathe in, reach the crown of your head, the top of your head up through the ceiling or the roof. Breathe out, draw your shoulder blades together. So totally up to you. You might maybe set a timer or put on a song that's about three to five minutes and just lie on your back without any distraction in a shavasana, in a pose where you're just receiving, where you're not doing anything, just lying on your back, palms flipped up, eyes closed. You might float your eyes open and go about your day. You also maybe might rewind this video and come back to any pose or any combination of poses that worked for you that you maybe want to spend a little bit more time in. Whatever you decide to do, I hope you do it well. I hope it serves you well. And thank you so, so much for joining me. And I'll see you in some of these other videos.